Dory Demers and I am the RISE Vermont Coordinator. RISE Vermont is a community initiative to embrace healthier lifestyles, improve the quality of life, and reduce healthcare costs of where we live, work, and play. We are pleased to bring you RISE TV, a weekly syndicated show on Northwest Access Television bringing us all tips, tricks, and resources to embrace a healthier lifestyle. We are thrilled that we are partnering with the Vermont Department of Health St. Albans District Office to offer these tapings as WIC approved activities. Please be sure to listen for your WIC approved phrase that will appear at the bottom of your screen here and also be told by the co-host. This will be what you will have to report back to your local district office to get credit for your second nutrition education. If you'd like more information about RISE Vermont, head to www.risevermont.com or follow us on social media. I really hope you enjoy the show and thank you for joining us in embracing a healthier lifestyle and creating a healthier community for all of us and generations to come. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jessica Frost from Rise Vermont, and today I have Pam Easterday with me. We're at her meditation studio, and we're going to talk about meditation today. Thank you, Jess. Welcome Thanks. to my studio. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I feel relaxed already. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so I was wondering if we could talk about what meditation is. A lot of people hear the word, but they don't really, a lot of times they think they can't do it unless they are able to block everything out of their mind and just be in this trance-like state. So I feel like there must be some steps in between <laughs> of what meditation can be. There's a, lots <laughs> of steps in between. The, the, the joy of moving into some sort of trance where all of a sudden everything disappears is definitely a, a pull that brings people in, but it, it takes a while to get there. Um, meditation is just concentrated effort on paying attention on, and focusing on one thing. Um, in this case, it's the breath. So it's just as much as possible bringing your attention to the breath, no matter what's going on, whatever your state of mind is, your state of body, whatever's happening around you, just the attempt to bring it back to the breath. Hmm. Yeah. So are there different breathing techniques that you use, or is it just kind of whatever your breath is, trying to bring your attention to it? You can do a purposeful um, kind of controlling of the breath. You know, in yoga, mm -hmm. you know, you purposely try to control it and you find um, the relationship between your body and the breath and, and how to move it around that way, but there's also just paying attention to the, to the natural breath. So um, really anything goes. You have to find your own way. Mm. For me, you have to find your own way. There's different places to put your attention, to put your focus, and um, really to move through all the different ways is my is my. I like the buffet, mm -hmm. uh, and I like to check them all out and then find what, what really works for me personally. But, yeah. yeah. So what are some of the other ways on the buffet line? On the buffet <laughs> line? Well, movement, mm -hmm. you know, yoga, so you can move with your breath, you can walk with your breath, you can, uh, it's all still just paying attention. Um, but a lot of times it's where you place the attention. You can place it uh, right in the center. Uh, you can follow it the whole way up and down. You can put your attention in your forehead. You can put your attention on your heart. Um, you can put your attention on uh, even any, anything that's getting your attention, really, just to see what exactly is getting your attention. It's, it's, there's a lot of restriction in the idea of meditation, and, and it is a disciplined thing. To, mm -hmm. But there's also a lot of, you know, it's about being more free. It's about liberation. So you know, liberate, man. you know, mm -hmm. go in and, and see what you see, kind of become aware of, of the whole system, all of it. Yeah, so today our time is taken up by so many different things that mm -hmm. you find your mind jumping place to place constantly throughout the day. So finding that ability to just focus on one thing can help clear yeah. everything else. The beautiful it's thing about the breath is it's always present. As mm -hmm. soon as you take that breath in, you're, you're instantly bringing yourself present. And it, the attempt is to get aware of that present moment, to, to let everything be just as it is without any force control on any, well, again, you can use your force control, mm -hmm. but, and just see what comes. And why, why is this good for people to do? What are the benefits <sighs> of taking the time to practice? Well, health-wise, I love the, the, uh, the yogi idea that if you have a full breath, you know, if your body is fully breathing, that disease can't exist in the body. You know, so it, it, 
it replenishes your organs, it regenerates organs, it, it helps the cells in, in your body to get a full breath of oxygen and it's, it's always present, it's always right now and it's always open to the possibility of moving into uh, uh, a kind of harmony mm -hmm. with the present moment instead of being um, stuck in the past or in the future and worry. You know, worry creates all kinds of, of things. Uh, future worry usually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a pattern, yeah. So it's just really trying to move away from patterns and just move into the breath and, um, and be whole and, and vital and alive right there in the present moment. Yeah. Um, I've heard, you know, if you think too much about the future, you're worrying. If you think too much about the past, it can cause anxiety. So being mm -hmm. able to stay in that present moment yeah. Even though it can be challenging, the more you practice, the more actual time and freedom you'll find. Yeah. I'm, I'm a victim of both. We all are. Mm -hmm. That's why I meditate. That's why I started meditating. I certainly, I was stuck way in the past in my own story trying to, to figure it out. And then I was, you know, dreaming way ahead and, and trying to figure out what I had to do in order to make that happen. Mm -hmm. And um, I still do that. Yeah. I'm, I'm human. But... I, found, I find relief, certainly, in, in meditation and the breath. Are there ways for beginners to start meditating on their own? They just try it. Yeah. Just sit down and give it a go. The first time I meditated, it was, it was a, a mess. Like, it was just, it was almost overwhelming. Mm -hmm. the, some people get overwhelmed. You know, they sit yeah. there and they close their eyes and all of a sudden they're dizzy because there's so much going on. That was me, certainly. Yeah. And, um, to just sit and keep trying it. Just every time you bring your attention back to the breath, it's, it's successful. Yeah, that's um, just being a yoga teacher. Sometimes mm -hmm. We practice sometimes in class and I'll say to people, your, your mind's not going to be clear. Things are going to try to pop into the picture all the time. But the fact that you can notice that and then try to come back to your breath is a huge first step. Yeah, it's really, yeah, it's like the whole process. Yeah. That just the attempt to to be in that state, yeah. Well, maybe we could um, try meditation for our All right. for our audience. We can <laughs> certainly so, do that. We'll make it, we, yeah, we could talk about it a little bit more after and see how it goes. Sure. What do you think? Sounds good. Okay. So you, I'm gonna pretend. That I'm pretending that you don't know. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. I mean you know, but um, so eyes. People are big on eyes, so you can. Uh, keep your eyes closed and look at the back of your eyelids or simply just gaze down at the floor a couple feet in front of you and begin to feel your breath coming in and out. So you can feel it coming in and out of your nose. And during that paying attention you can take notice to your body and any tension you're feeling. And you will it to relax. You can feel your left side and your right side. The front of your body and the back of your body. And just become aware of your breath coming in and out of your nose and moving up and down right in front of your spine. You can relax your abdomen and your lower back. Feel yourself sitting wherever you are, in a chair, on the floor. You just feel yourself sitting there. And you pay attention to the breath coming in and out. And you can pay attention to the wave your body makes. Abdomen up to chest. You can feel a little lift in your shoulders and back out. And if you follow it the whole way, the breath the whole way in, you feel it transition to an out breath, all the way out, and transition back to an in breath, 
those moments at the top of the breath and bottom of the breath are very important. It's a whole journey and you're just paying attention to the whole journey of the breath. And if things get your attention, you can just move back. Take just a few more breaths. I feel so good, I don't want to stop. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> nice, right? Yeah. Just a few seconds. And then, I mean, if you. You can set a timer for a minute, two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. You can slowly build. Just mm -hmm. for some people, sitting for one minute is a, is a lot, especially yeah. on their own. It's easy in a, easier in a group sometimes because mm -hmm. you feel that group pressure. Yeah. To, and it's also a joint, you know, it's a joint effort. So everybody's working on the same thing, and it's and somehow it's just easier. Um, but working on it every day by yourself, just one single minute. For a, you know a busy mom mm -hmm. or someone that's really stressed out or trying to find a job or trying to you know deal with re relate it's crazy being human yeah. it's absolutely ridiculously complicated and complex and it doesn't get any simpler than the breath and it's just basically saying no to all the complication for a minute or five minutes or ten minutes and and build up to it and then and you feel like you accomplish something every time I sit even if it's I sit and I'm and I'm in a bad mood, or I have some emotion that I can't control, or you know I, I feel like I'm just not right. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just I'm just not right. I I might sit down. I might not be great when I get up, but I'm just a little tiny bit better off than I was. Yeah. And I took care of myself, mm -hmm. and I I made the choice. I personally made the choice and said, you know, right now my most important thing is, is my is my health, my well-being, and and to be solid because I mean you have kids you know if you're not everything just falls apart if yeah. you're not if you're not there if you're not if you're not making decisions that you feel that you can handle your life and I'm telling you if you, I can feel completely out of whack and if I sit down for just one all of a sudden I okay game yeah. on it's kind of recenter refocus yourself yeah and you feel a little energized I mean it's relaxing but I think at the end of it you feel more energized and more yeah. capable of the, taking on the day. The energy of it, yeah, that that it's it's brand new, it's fresh, it's 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 current time, it's it's right there. The whole world, you know, it's around us. It's fully willing to support us if we just give in and, and let it do that. Yeah. Without us getting in the way. Just our WIC access code is mm. breathe. Um, yeah, I, what do you think about um, using music, like using a mantra song or even any song where you can just really focus on the words or focus on the beat just for that time? Yeah. Do you think uh, that that has similar benefits? Yeah, especially if there's trouble. Uh, yeah, it, even if it's not trouble. The, the way I was taught included mantra meditation. Mm -hmm. and. Um, it's great to say it out loud, you put all of your focus in it, and then you slowly get quieter and you're still saying it inside your head. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. And even listening to music, I, I yeah. Yeah, so I think sometimes when people start, it's hard for them to be quiet, but if they can maybe put their attention on something and just get used to that feeling of, again, of yeah. focusing on something. Yeah. I feel like it's something that comes naturally almost when you're a kid or when you have downtime to, focusing on music like when yeah. you're a teenager and you'd sit in your room and listen to a song and just really focus on the words of that song yeah but I almost wonder if that's kind of a lost thing now that everybody's you know always tuned in to what's the next thing what's coming yeah. up next I'm a big music person um, certainly even if I'm not meditating I'm, I'm usually a headphones in mm -hmm. um, something I'm, I'm a piano you know listen to something that that infuses you know, a feeling of inspiration or, or something like that. I, 
that me personally. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm sitting here thinking like, well, I don't want to leave people out and say, well, your loud music is not. But some people right. they do. Right. They get lost in their loud music. So yeah. I'll stop talking altogether about that. Every, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever music. Music is awesome, right? It's from inspiration. It's it's a great, fantastic thing. So yeah, it's connecting to um, something else, but it also connects to an emotion. You know, music really connects to a certain emotion that you're you're bringing up. So. Yeah. Um, a lot of times that emotion can override another emotion that might not be as helpful. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's all good stuff. Yeah. Right? Well, thank you. Do you want to sure. tell everybody what your website is or how they can get in contact if with you? If they want to get in contact with me, I'm at PamelaEasterday.com. And um, my email address is Pam at PamelaEasterday.com. And uh, I'm at 142 North Main Street here in the Masonic Building in St. Albans. Yeah, and she does private classes, um, group classes. Yeah. So check her out. You'll feel brand new. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Jess. you. <laughs>